Hello friends who like to find a better way. In this session, I'm going to show you a rarely used Outlook feature, but it's got some super cool applications if the people you are emailing are also Outlook users. So there is that little caveat. Um, but the pain point here that I'm trying to solve is if you have ever sent an email to multiple individuals looking for uh, a simple response, and what you find yourself doing is firing off the question and the choices and then you have to keep kind of a tally sheet of sorts somewhere else either a piece of paper on your desk or you're keeping track of it in a spreadsheet or somehow you're having to track what their responses are maybe you're sending them a policy and a policy change and you want them to quickly tell you if they approve or reject it maybe you are trying to coordinate a date when you could hold an event and it's not really ready for meeting invitations. You're just trying to figure out which date can we do this thing among your team. Uh, so you're sending them some choices and you want to get their response. Or maybe it's as simple as, hey, where should we go to lunch today? Uh, whatever the questions might be, if there's a simple reply, there is a tool, a feature in Outlook that will make that easier for you. It makes it easier for them to reply, makes it easier for you to collect the replies. So what that's called are voting buttons. To access these voting buttons, I'm going to go from my message that I've started, I'm going to click on options, the options ribbon, and I'm going to choose use voting buttons. Now, if my choice is super simple, I could just click one of these built in options. You can see the approve reject option there, yes, no, or I could give them yes, no, or maybe, or I can click on custom to further manipulate what those choices are. So I'm going to show you that in just a second and if, if this dialog box is familiar to you and you know how to get there the other way, uh, you can do that as well. You don't you don't have to go to it from use voting buttons. But I'm going to close for right now and we're going to say that the question I'm asking my group, I'm asking me, myself and I here, the question I'm asking is where do I want to go for lunch? So I've got the question where should we go for lunch? I'm going to click on use voting buttons. I want a custom option because those aren't going to fit my question and I'm going to type over where it says approve reject. I'm just going to highlight that, get rid of it. I do want to point out, you notice there's a semicolon between the responses. That's what tells Outlook this is a different response. So my choices for the group are Panera, oops, semicolon, El Sombrero, favorite Mexican restaurant here in Miami County and tropical smoothie. Those sound like good choices to me. So I'm putting those out there as the choices. I'm going to hit close. Uh, I've got a little information banner that tells me I've added voting buttons to this. It is a good idea to go ahead and include the instructions to them to use the voting buttons in your email as well. Uh, they will, it does show up, Outlook will show that, but it's kind of easy to miss. So, so there's some simple instructions telling them, hey, don't just reply to this, please use the voting buttons. I'm not even giving them the choices here because the choices are going to show up when they vote. So I'm going to hit send. Now when this email comes in, I, the responder, am going to see, hey everyone, please use the voting button to let me know where we should go to lunch today. Like I said, Outlook includes an information banner that says vote by clicking vote in the respond group above. But what you might not have realized is in our message, there's a button beside our reply, reply all forward, that is not typically there. It only shows up if voting has been applied to this email. So that's why it's super easy to miss right here. That's why I encourage you include it in the text, but I can hit vote. It's going to tell me my three choices, Panera, El Sombrero, or Tropical Smoothie. It's a warm day, so I'm going to go with Tropical Smoothie. Either responder can either send the response immediately or I can add text if I want to. Um, might be a good idea to get you, you know, to train your people. Just hit send the response now because the whole idea of this is making life more simple. So I'm going to click OK and then I the responder can fire off that message. Now I the inviter or I the person asking the question will get a response that looks like this. In the subject line is their answer. I immediately know what they responded with. I can open it to see if there's additional comments but there are not and so I can see this person chose to go to Tropical Smoothie. But wait there's more. 
if I go back to the original message, where should we go for lunch today? When I open that from my sent box, I now can look at tracking and it is going to show me the list of people that I sent it to, who's responded, who hasn't responded, what their choice was, when they responded. So it's a quick way to see who you're still waiting to get information on, a quick way. It'll even add up the options right up here. We've got we've got totals. So right now, tropical smoothie smoothies in the lead. Um, so just a super quick way to get feedback from your people. Now I wanted to take it one step further and see, all right, let's say I did this with upwards of 20 people and maybe this, maybe I want to be able to sort the response or maybe I want to pull this out into Excel for some reason. What I can do is I can click and drag to select all these lines. I'm going to use control C on my keyboard, which is the keyboard shortcut for copying because I don't see copying up here. I could right click, I'll bet. No, you can't right click. Huh. So you want to use control C and then I can click on a new, new workbook in Excel and I'm going to go right there. I've, I use control V to paste it in Excel. If I size my columns, now I have my responders in one column and their responses in another column. So I can sort it, I can filter it. I could send, share it with someone if I wanted to. So that's this really cool feature in Outlook that nobody's using. Now, like I said, it's great if you're working with people who are using uh, Outlook. I, I haven't tested to know for sure if it works with mobile Outlook. So if you've got a lot of people who only are dealing with email on their phones, I can't say for sure how this works. I can tell you it does not translate to, to Gmail users. So for Gmail users, you may want to step into that initial email. I click back on the message. You may need to uh, in that if this is going out to a mix of Outlook users and Gmail users, you may need to include those options listed here. Tell them they'll just have to reply. But what's nice is because you can manage the list in Excel, you can at least add their replies to Excel and, and have your running list. So it, it kind of it saves the step of posing the question and keeping your own tally sheet somewhere else. You've got Outlook doing the tallying for you. So anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback. If this, if you like this tool in Outlook and think you might use it, please like this video. If it's something that's going to be a big time saver, I would really love for you to leave a comment and let me know how it's going to save you some time. And as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel or sign up for my newsletter to get these tips delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks again for watching. I hope it helps.